Hello everyone, <laughs> I'm Kibastic and in this video we'll solve a puzzle. Not the usual one, but the one that I printed on a 3D printer. Before we start, remember all the videos in which I printed puzzles on a 3D printer. This is generally a fascinating process. If somehow you didn't saw these vids where I show you how I print and so on, you can take a look. I even have a special playlist on the channel about 3D puzzles. It's fascinating, it's interesting, it's cool, and most of all, you like it. But today, I won't show you the whole process, because the puzzle is quite interesting itself. The result looks more interesting than how it was printed. This is one of the most popular puzzles on the internet. It is from the same author who made the locks, who made the big mysterious box, and many many other ones that you can print on a 3D printer. He creates 3D models of various puzzles that you can actually print. As you can see, it is on my table. To be honest, I don't know what it's called, but I suggest that you guys can name it. Come up with a name for this puzzle and write it on the comments. I don't know about you, but I associate it with some kind of Iceland. This is a uninhabited sandy Iceland. And the blue one over here is the sea, is the ocean. And over here, these are some kind of waves or something else that's very interesting. I printed the original design and colors of this puzzle. You may think what the creator wanted to say with this puzzle and what does it look this way. The mechanism of this puzzle, by the way, is very different from many others. Usually, if we see such a frame, we need to put all the parts inside. But here, with parts like this, by moving these parts in turns, like this, we need to bring out our so-called deserted island over here through a special hole that is here below. And it's made specially, so only this large island comes out. It's made in such a shape that no other part can pass. Only this square one can pass. This puzzle is considered as a not simple one. We have very little space for a lot of movement, so I guess it will be pretty difficult moving these parts. I'll try to solve this puzzle as quickly as possible. So, let's start the timer and let's start to solve this extremely difficult and incomprehensible puzzle. Let's start. As I already said, we have very little space to move these parts around. We have only a few options to start moving. We can do it as this, but it makes no sense because after that absolutely everything is blocked. And if we do it like this, again, all the moves are blocked, so it doesn't make any sense. And we can do it like this. After that we can already move something, but it's unclear how and where we should put them. We have very, very little space for any movement. This looks very complicated. Okay, let's try to do it like this, at least. Oh, and if we move it like this, it will turn out that we can move this part here. Did you saw how beautiful that was? Well, over here we already have a dead end, but the very fact that we have the opportunity to move these two parts into a vertical position, we do it like this, we move it in a vertical position and now we can move it like one of these big ones. But still, it's all the same, it's still complicated and incomprehensible. Okay, for now it's not bad at all. We move it over here, let's move both of these up. We'll move these two as well and we'll move this one again. It's already almost at the exit and it only took me a minute to do this. Oh, but here? Here nothing will work out, it's already an absolute dead end. To be honest, it's not a very simple puzzle. Sometimes it amazes me how people come up with these ideas. How do they make them up? How do they create such puzzles? Just how difficult it is to uh, make it. To figure out how it will look and what colors it should be and what materials, well that's not difficult. But to figure out how it will function and what will be the complexity of the solution, well it seems to me that only a genius can make that up. I'm sure that among you there are many geniuses. I'm totally sure about my audience. At least if you're subscribed to my channel, you are not an ordinary person you already definitely deserve respect from me. And if you want respect personally from me, then 
please subscribe to the channel. We already know each other for a long time and you're still not subscribed. If you watch my videos and you like them, then why just don't subscribe? So if there's suddenly some people among you who can create some puzzles, then please write it in the comments. I will be pleased to see your ideas. Describe how your puzzle works, the complexity it has, what colors does it have, is it blue, red or white? Describe the design of the puzzle and what parts it consists of, what level of difficulty it has, and if you think that I have what it takes to solve it. So guys, just write it in the comments right over here under this video i'll make sure to comment my opinion under your ideas so yeah it will definitely be interesting so please go ahead and write it down well i'm confused i'm really confused and i don't know where should i move it while we were talking i've been trying to no this doesn't go here i've been just trying to find ways to solve this maybe randomly or maybe not randomly. So now let's try to find exactly the logical way, the logical way to solve this puzzle. I really want to believe that this is possible. Notice that we have a part that's empty and its size is one by two. And there's no way that a two by two square can fit here. The only thing that can fit here is a part like this. But the problem is that, um, we have four vertical ones and only two horizontal ones. The only option to somehow manage is to bring two vertical ones over here, one horizontal one over here, and the square will remain right here, and somehow free up an empty space here in order to move it horizontally to clear the path for the square. It's difficult, I understood what the purpose of these two small squares is. The purpose is that we can turn these vertical parts into horizontal ones. That's their purpose. Which is good. <laughs> I went from the position from which we started. By the way, this is the initial position as the creator of the puzzle says. It is the most difficult because we need to make a horizontal part right about here. If you remember, we solved such a puzzle, or rather logical game, called Rush Hour. There we had to get a car out of the traffic. Here we have a very similar situation, but there is so little space, that is crazy. Back then, we managed to solve it, but this time, this puzzle is so much more difficult. To be honest, I don't see any clear way to how to do this. I can't make these parts move in any way. They are all made so they do not pass through this hole. That is, we can only do movement through this empty space. We need to bring out two vertical parts by all means from here and at the same time replace them with two horizontal ones. Here for example, this horizontal one looks a lot better now. Yeah, but here's a dead end. We can do it like this, this and this. Oh! We have shifted two of the parts here, look! It looks really cool and now... Guys, we're about to solve it. Just take a look at how the parts have formed. One horizontal at the bottom, as I said. And four squares. One, two, three, four. Now we have two parts each as a square. They are all the same. And now they should be more easy to move. But that's not a fact. But the trick is, if we now manage to move the square here in this way, exactly over here, so we don't move these two parts, then in this case, we will solve this puzzle. Just take a look. If these two positions were reversed and the square was right here, then we would just move it from here and the square would pass. But as you see, the square is not there.
we need to put the square over the horizontal part exactly over the horizontal part but we have only vertical ones hmm if we yes something like this yes 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 no way i moved the square here and now i need to free this space for this two boom it took me 12 minutes you know the several hours of printing this puzzle of changing the plastic changing in a bunch of printer systems and so on it was worth it to get tremendous emotions of solving 12 minutes of this puzzle first of all because it's so bright cool and unusual and second of all i am sure that this is a unique puzzle and a few people have it at all and that's very cool although you know you can print it by yourself on your 3d printer summing up i want to say that you can get a lot of emotions from the fact that you do something with your own hands and i won't stop there i will continue doing puzzles with my own hands write in the comments what else i can show you that you would like to see me print on my 3d printer i have already printed a 3x3 rubik's cube that's fully functional i have already printed the most difficult puzzle the most beautiful puzzle what else would you like to see i plan to dive into this topic to the maximum and create new puzzles completely from scratch and if you support me that will mean the world for me you can also write in the comments some kind of easter egg so that many who usually don't watch the videos to the end watch it this time your opinion is very important to me as well as your support because we do everything together with you i make the content and you do the likes watching commenting everyone is mutually cool and that's really nice. Thank you everyone for watching. This was Cubastic. See you in new, even cooler videos. Bye everyone and have a good time.